welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Tasmania, ah, that's where Topsy meets Turvy and they start to spin. In many ways, the 90s were the absolute peak for animated TV shows, and at the forefront of that movement was Warner Brothers Animation, Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Tiny Toon Adventures, Batman the Animated Series, Freakazoid, Warner Brothers turned out some of the most clever and memorable shows of the time, and while it wasn't quite as memorable as the others, Tasmania still had the quality you came to expect from them. The show was about Taz, the Tasmanian Devil, and his adventures with a frankly ludicrous amount of side characters. My favorite was always Kiwi. So when it came time to convert the show into a video game, as pretty much all cartoons did, it fell into the hands of Sunsoft. Sunsoft was one of those companies that had a crazy amount of games at the time, and quality-wise we had the full spectrum, from absolute classics like Blaster Master and Batman, to complete disasters like Fester's Quest and, uh, Batman. Sunsoft actually made like 10 different Batman games. You never knew what you were going to get with Sunsoft, which is what makes their games all the more exciting. Will it be a hit? Will it be a dud? Who knows with these guys? What I do know is how to identify a bright, colorful, and fun cover. This one not only features the characters, but even hints at the kind of gameplay we're getting with that minecart. And those characters in the back are from the show. Probably. God, there were so many characters. Let's head down under for a little adventure. We're paying a visit to Tasmania. Everything owned by Warner Brothers, of course. You guys can keep them. You do good work with them. Whoa, oh my god. Cut scene? That's a good-looking Taz. A zoom effect, kind of. Tazmania! Oh, I like this song. Not the Tazmania theme, but it's pretty good. Uh, nothing to do. Let's go. Play game. Whoa. Tazmania in... Wait, do they think the character's name is Tazmania? Christmas... Christmas Island Capers. Okay. There he is. Oh my god, he looks adorable when I look up. It's a platformer, as expected. Made a jump, beat- Oh god! Um, I'm, I'm automatically moving. Okay, so B is a tornado, the Tasmanian tornado, or whatever he called it. <gasps> 50! No! Oh, spins three! I can only do a couple of those per uh, round, I assume. Got it! I got 50 of them! 50 of what? Wow! That is a really smooth animation! That's unbelievably good! Wow, you normally do not see animation that smooth on a uh, Game Boy. This is a very nice looking game! 50 more of them! Oh my god, it must be my birthday! I'm assuming that's, yeah, that's score. I, I just want to look at this animation all day- oops. Controls are a touch floaty. Not, not horrible, but a little bit loose. Oh my god, I have so much 50, you can't even believe it. Sunsoft games always have good music. Like, it's a generic loop, 50 more. It's a generic loop, but it's a good loop. Let's see if we can actually go. Uh -oh. What am I doing? Oh, saved! Oh god, this is hard to control. It makes you invulnerable, but harder to move! Speed run time. Whoa boy, whoa boy, oh god. Okay, I should save that for when I'm not platforming. I really wish they had the actual Tasmania theme. The song was a banger. How long is this stage? It's been going on a surprisingly long time. It just keeps going. It's just... Alright, I'm ready to move on to the next world now, Plez. 50! What?! Ah, That's a good picture of Taz, but that, lay that level is going on a long time. There is such a thing as... How do I put this? When you have a platformer on the Game Boy, you need levels to be quick and snappy. Look at Super Mario Land, a very primitive game, but levels took like three minutes to beat. So, you couldn't really, you know, focus on, oh, I don't think the level is that good, even though they were good. You couldn't really, you know, focus on anything because levels were so quick. It's a huge benefit. When levels drag on, it starts to become a problem, and the this level is sort of dragging on. Especially when it's just like the same three challenges repeated. It's just fish jumping, platforming, and the occasional bird. I used to play bass for the occasional bird. 
Is it over yet? Oh, it's over. Woohoo! <laughs> I love that pose. Alright, what's next? That wasn't very Christmassy. Oh, God! What? What am I doing? Okay, I'm just mashing A. I, I, I think I'm doing the right thing. It's honestly hard to tell. They don't really give you instruction. Also, who was that? Okay. Thank you. What did I just do? Oh my god, it's the same level. It's not bad. It's just so far very samey. Although that little mini game challenge was kind of neat. And again, the game does look great. I mean, compare how Taz looks to how Mario looked in Super Mario Land. I mean, drastic difference in quality. That's it, everyone's dead. That was like the perfect- Oh my god, it's a new enemy, kind of. What? How? But I- I need to look up- Was that character who was chasing me actually from the game? They looked like- they kind of look like Pyramid Head. I didn't get a really good look at them. You interrupted my singing. See, I'm getting impatient. I want to see more stuff. You know what? I want to try something really quick. Hang on. We are going to load up a different level. There's only six levels, so pretty short game. One. Hooray! Password correct. So yeah, it's broken up into worlds. Easter Island Antics. Oh, God. Are there Moai statues? Well, yeah, it breaks it up. When you can walk on clouds, by the way, just like in real life. This is bad. <laughs> I just knew I was in trouble there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. Little samey. Little uninspired at times. Whoops. Little drowny. But for a Game Boy platformer, it's uh, just the kind of thing you want. Boy, that Taz is uncouth, but he sure has a great sense of art design. Let's start with the best thing. The game looked absolutely great. All the sprites had so much life in them, they did a great job at capturing the fun animation style of the original show. Between the enemy design and the way Taz animated, especially with that on-edge idle animation. Especially for the Game Boy, it looked fantastic. Combined with solid sound design and a catchy music loop, it created overall one of the best presentations for a game I've seen on the Game Boy. Which is good, because while the gameplay isn't bad, it was pretty unremarkable. You moved, you jumped, you platformed, it's about as standard as you can get. The problem is that the levels were so samey and so long, that even though they were nice to look at, they were boring to play. Far from outright bad, but not enough to really make it stand out. If it wasn't for the animation of the game, it would be average, but the art was really doing the heavy lifting here. That said, it was doing so much lifting that I still think the game gets a recommendation. Maybe the gameplay is pretty token, but it was such a nicely presented game that it is still worth the time to visit Tasmania. And I can't wait for the games based on all the other characters. It'll be a 95-part series. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.